Hey guys, time for some tips, tricks, and bugs. If you got some of your own, please submit them at the link below. Now, let's get on with it, but first, a short message from our sponsor. Are you into esports? Well, don't miss the next major by WePlay, the Animator. The event will be themed in the style of anime, and knowing WePlay, it will look absolutely amazing. They have a track record for hosting the best themed events, recently having the Christmas themed Book of El Minor and the Cyberpunk themed Mad Moon event. Join the WePlay broadcast from June 2nd to June 13th with a prize pool of $500,000. 18 teams will compete, but only one will become a legend. Punch with an Agadim Shard can save a teammate from duel with Dismember. This goes both ways, as it can also ruin a duel. Mars can't impale an enemy into Hoodwing's Acon Shot tree, but a Wind Ranger can shackle shot an enemy to the Acon Shot tree. Doesn't this seem unfair? One of the best ways to escape Necrophos' Reaper Sight is having a Shadow Demon in your team. Simply use Disruption on your teammate affected by Reaper Sight and see them saved. Same goes for Pudge's Agadim Shard, Dismember. Grimstroke's Soulbind stops Pangolier's Rolling Thunder in its tracks. No matter how you move, you won't be going anywhere until the duration of Soulbind ends. Invoker's Tornado damage will apply before Oracle's False Promise Heal. So if your HP is low enough to die from Tornado, you'll die before you can get healed. No matter how much healing you receive from Oracle. Yules can also kill you. Agadim Shard Dismember a Leshrac while his Pulse Nova and Diabolic Edict are active, and see the damage output still being active. Try the same with Pangolier during Rolling Thunder, and see your enemies still getting stunned if you're close by. Troll Warlord can use his Battle Trance during a Chronosphere if he has the level 25 talent Battle Trance Strong Dispels. This can be game changing, especially if you're currently getting killed in a Chronosphere. Pop your Battle Trance, survive the Chronosphere, and come out turning the tide of battle. Phantom Assassin can break an enemy with Stifling Dagger. If she uses Stifling Dagger, then use Silver Edge while the dagger is midair. Do note that she will actually lose the invisibility from the Silver Edge when the dagger hits. If you use the Silver Edge before using the dagger, then the dagger will not break the target. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you liked it, please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you got some tips of your own, submit them at the link in the description.